Hello, Dan Nadelkovsky here from howtomechatronics.com. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use a PIR sensor for detecting motion. First, let's explain the working principle. The module actually consists of a pyroelectric sensor which uh, generates energy when exposed to heat. That means when a human or animal body will get in the range of the sensor, it will detect a movement because the human or the animal body emits heat energy in a form of infrared radiation. That's where the name of the sensor comes from, a passive infrared sensor. And the term passive means that the sensor is not using any energy for detecting purposes, it just works by detecting the energy given off by the other objects. The module also consists a specially designed cover named Frenzel lens, which focuses the infrared signals onto the pyroelectric sensor. Ok, now let's connect the module to the Arduino board. The module has three pins, a ground and a VCC for powering the module and an output pin which gives high logic level if an object is detected. Also it has two potentiometers. One for adjusting the sensitivity of the sensor and the other for adjusting the time the output signal stays high when the object is detected. This time can be adjusted from 0.3 seconds up to 5 minutes. The module has 3 more pins with a jumper between two of them. These pins are for selecting the trigger modes. The first one is called non-repeatable trigger and works like this. When the sensor output is high and the delay time is over, the output will automatically change from high to low level. The other mode called repeatable trigger will keep the output high all the time until the detected object is present in the sensor's range. As an example for this tutorial, I will make a circuit that will turn on a high voltage lamp when the sensor will detect an object. Here is the circuit schematic. The output pin of the sensor will be connected to the pin number 8 on the Arduino board and when an object will be detected, the pin number 7 will activate the relay module and the high voltage lamp will turn on. For more details how the relay module works, you can check my Arduino relay tutorial. Here's the Arduino code for this example. It's quite simple, we just need to define the PIR sensor pin as input and the relay pin as output. Using the digital read function, we will read the output of the sensor and if it's high or if an object is detected, it will activate the relay. For activating the relay module, we will send a logic low as the relay input pin works inversely. Here's the demonstration of the example. Note that after powering the sensor module, it needs about 20 to 60 seconds to warm up in order to function properly. Now when I will put my hand in front of the sensor, the relay will activate the lamp. But note that even if I move my hand constantly, the lamp will turn off after the adjusted delay time is over because the PIR sensor is in non-repeatable trigger mode. If I change the sensor with the jumper to the repeatable trigger mode and I constantly move the hand, the lamp will be constantly on as well and it will turn off after the movement is gone and the set delay time is over. Thanks for watching and for more tutorials visit my official website howtomechatronics.com